do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did that what is complex reactions and based on that we have also study that what is the rate determining step of oh, sorry yaar yeah. sorry what is the reaction intermediate start hello friends in the last lecture we have studied what is complex reactions and on based on that they are divided into elementary reactions also so we are now going to study that what is rate determining step which is included in the complex reaction so before understanding what is complex reactions rate de determining step okay so. so before understanding what is rate determining step we should know the definition of the rate determining step so let us see what is the definition when a chemical reaction occurs in series of step one of the step is much slower than the other step such a slower step in the reaction mechanism is called as rate determining step or rds let me tell you in complex reaction it is divided into various elementary steps it can be step number 1 2 3 etc but among all these three the one step will be very much slower and based on that we could determine the rate of reaction by the concept of the rate law so i have given an example to you right now that is when 2 times no2cl gives us 2 times no2 plus chlorine molecule that is cl2 it is been followed by two steps that is the step number 1 that is no2cl that gives no2 plus cl with a rate constant of k1 while the second step is no2cl plus cl that gives you no2 plus cl2 with a rate constant of k2 So among these two step, one of the step will be the fastest step, and the one of the step will be the slowest step. So it has been found that the step number one is the slowest step. So therefore, since it is the most slowest step among all these uh, two reaction steps, so therefore it is said to be the rate determining step. And because of this only, we could estimate that what would be that what would be the rate of reaction of this overall reaction. and let me tell you one thing that the rate determining step is for an elementary reaction and it cannot be said to be for the overall reaction and because of that only we could determine that what would be the order of reaction also because since it is an elementary reaction and as you can see it is dependent only on one moles of no2cl which means it is a first order reaction in spite of we are seeing in the overall reaction is having two molecules of no2cl involved so the molecularity cannot be estimated for this reaction because the molecularity is only up to a limitation of elementary reaction so therefore the order of this reaction that is this slow step can be said to be unimolecular and this is known as the rate determining step that by which we could calculate the rate law and the rate of reaction so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe egeda channel thank you so much